the node voltage method or model analysis and dependent sources. So for this, for this example, find the power dissipated in the 5 ohm resistor using nodal analysis. So this example contains a dependent uh, voltage source. So first we need to assign a reference node. So a view's choice is node right here. So this is our reference node. And then let's label uh, the non-reference nodes. So V1, then V2. So applying KCL at node 1, node V1, node V1. So this is node V1. We have three currents. KCL at node V1, we have V1 minus 20 over 2 plus and V1 over 20 plus V1 minus V2 over 5 equal to 0. Combining like terms, we have V over 4 V1 minus 1 over 5 V2 plus 2 N. So we have equation 1. Now for equation 2, apply KCL at node V2. KCL at node V2. This is V2. We have three currents. We have V2 minus V1 over 5 plus V2 over 10 plus V2 minus 8 I I phi over 2 plus 2 0. So combining like terms, we have negative 1 over 5 V1 plus 4 over 5 V2 then 4 I V plus 2 0. So we have now equation 2. So we have uh, three variables v1, v2, and i phi. So where do we get the third equation? So we need to express this i phi here in terms of v1 and v2. So looking back at the circuit. So I V is here, the current in this branch, going out from V1 and going to V2. I V is just V1 minus V2 over I. We have equation 3. So substituting this value here. To here. So we have. So this equation becomes. Negative 1 over 5. V1 plus. 
4 over 5 d2 minus 4 over 5 times v1 minus v2 equals to 0. So combining like terms, we have, we have negative v1 plus eight over five v2 equal to zero. So we will use these two equations right here. Equation and this equation to solve for v1 and v2. So by substitution, we can solve the value for v1 and v2. So you do the math. So we have v1 equivalent to 10 volts, and v2 equivalent to 10 volts. Find the power dissipated in the 5 ohm resistor using module analysis. So now we have the value of V1 and V2. We can now get the uh, power across or the power dissipated in the 5 ohm resistor. The power dissipated by the 5 ohm resistor is equivalent to high phi squared times 5. If you remember, IP from this equation, from equation 3, IP is just V1 minus V2 over 5 squared times 5. The power dissipated by the 5 ohm, 5 ohm resistor is 7.2. Ups.